Hey, what's happening? Nick here from virtualassistantassistant.com. This is my uh, video review of Codable. Let's talk about Codable. It's a uh, kind of a curated marketplace for uh, for WordPress developers, specifically web developers operating on a WordPress platform. Uh, what brought me to Codable was my frustration with Elance. So I posted a job actually for the redesign of the virtualassistantassistant.com website, posted a job on Elance, and maybe this was my mistake because I posted it late Sunday night, uh, California time, so it was already mid-morning, early morning uh, over in India, and so got a, a ton of responses from individuals and companies in, uh, in India and in Asia. And so by the time Monday, and not that there's anything wrong with that at all, but by the time Monday morning rolled around, uh, the, the U.S.-based developers on Elance saw, hey, this project has already got 25, 30 bids on it. I'm not going to touch it because he's probably already found his his candidate, which wasn't which wasn't the case at all. So I got 40 something responses, and my frustration was not one of those really stood out as being the you know just one one guy to to like impress me or girl to impress me and be like you are the one I want to hire. It didn't happen. And and I put that out in an email, and uh, a friend of mine came back and was like, hey, have you ever tried Codable? It's like Elance, except just for WordPress. It's like, hey, that's perfect. I need, that's exactly what I'm looking for, right? And so I, I put the job immediately up on Codable. I got, um, I got only one bid, which was a little bit surprising. Um, and and it, in the price, because uh, I know you're curious, the price was higher than the average Elance bid, not uh, not outrageously higher, probably 20, 30 percent higher, and and that was okay because it was a U.S. based developer. I was thinking that communication would be would be good, and and that wouldn't be an issue. And I actually reached out to Codable on their like live chat uh, support and said, "Hey, is this is this typical? Like to only get one uh, to get one response?" And so the guy was like, "Oh, let me let me personally reach out to some of our other developers to take a look at your project." And he came back and said, hey, they took a look. They said, hey, this guy has, um, he's clearly got a good grasp on, on what it's going to take to get it done. Plus, our bid would be higher, and so we wouldn't want to raise your price. Because how it works is you're not, you hire an individual, but the price is set based on the average of, of everyone's bid. So you don't necessarily, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a, an interesting way to uh, to price it. So you don't have to worry about like racing to the bottom, making sure your bid is necessarily the cheapest because they're kind of uh, aggregating those prices. So I um, I awarded the project. I said, hey, let's, let's roll the dice. If nothing else, I'll, I'll have a video to, uh, to talk about it. And we got started. Things were going well. Within uh, the first couple of days, like I had an optimistic message that, hey, I'm going to be I'm going to have this test site ready to go for you in the next uh, couple of days or by the weekend. And that's when things kind of started to go off the rails. One thing that we we struggled with, we had this weird uh, data loss issue that set us back probably a couple of weeks. And uh, the developer uh, that I hired from Codable swears he swears he didn't break the site. And I want to be- and I want to believe him. But the weird, the weird coincidence of it is like, look, you know, for the last four years, you know, never had any issue. And then the day after I give someone else the login and FTP information, then the site breaks. It's like, it it was, it was too weird. And he admitted like, Hey, I understand it looks bad. I swear I didn't do it, but it looks really bad. And so we, we spent some time battling that, recovering the database before we could move on. Then the guy was out of town and then he got sick and like like all software projects, it ended up taking a lot longer than originally anticipated. Um, I am happy with the finished result, and I'm kind of still going through some of the you know post redesign tweaks that is going to happen on any site, right? Um, but but I'm happy with the finished product, and I, and I thankfully wasn't in any sort of time crunch or or serious deadline for it. So that's kind of my take on on Codable. Would uh, would I use them again? Uh, maybe, probably, I don't know. It, it's kind of a cool, it's a cool concept. And I think there's probably some work to be done on vetting the uh, the workers in there, um, perhaps a little bit better, even though this guy did um, on on the surface. look like it just took a long time. Like, I think he did a fine job with it. Um, I think it just took a while. We had some communication problems in the middle. Um, but don't take my word for it. Check out uh, virtualassistantassistant.com. See what other people uh, have to say about Codable and uh, and their experience. 
um, plus tons of other outsourcing options as well. Thanks so much. We'll catch up with you soon.